Good day, family. You guys are welcome back to our YouTube channel, um, the MBBS Nigeria YouTube channel, the best uh, YouTube channel for medical students and paramedical students, and to gain the basic medical knowledge that is sought after. And in today's video, we'll be talking about the anatomy of the clevius. I will be talking about the clevius and um, where the clevius is found and um how to identify a clevius in the uh, human skull and um, what i'm seeing here okay is is a picture of the skull and you could see like an internal picture right um like you cut you slice through uh, a skull and what you see there are these various um surface landmarks and um in the middle there you could see the foramen magnum and above the foramen magnum, magnum, you could see the the clevius. The clevius is um between the foramen magnum and the dorsum celli. All right, guys. So uh, without wasting time, let's get back. Let's get to our main business. We'll be talking about the anatomy of the clevius. As the MBBS Niger, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, kindly do subscribe to our YouTube channel. I will be posting more and more videos your way. All right, so um, the clevis is a sloping surface in front of the foramen magnum. It is formed by the fusion of the uh, posterior part of the sphenoid bone and, and the basilar part of the occipital bone. All right, it is formed by the posterior part of the sphenoid bone and the basilar part of the occipital bone. All right. All right, so um, um, the area the area reddish is the posterior cranial fossa and you could see the the dosum um celli you could see the clevus there and the clevus is like in between and the middle cranial fossa and the posterior cranial fossa all right so um let's move on we said that it is separated from the petrous and uh, temporal bone by the petro occipital fissure which ends at the jugular foramen it forms the posterior boundary of the middle cranial fossa and the anterior boundary of the posterior cranial fossa this will tell you that uh the clevius is in between uh, the middle cranial fossa and the posterior cranial fossa okay so uh, without wasting time let's keep moving on all right so i want you to do me a favor each uh image i bring on you should uh locate uh where the clevius is all right i would like you to see the clevius on like two more images so that you get to get familiar with how the clevius is now if observing the clevius from this picture you could see that the clevius is like a slopey area right um around where you see the foramen magnum and the foramen magnum is where uh, the spinal cord pass through okay all right so let's keep moving I right, said so that the relations of the clevis so anteriorly it is related to the uh, basilar plesus of nerves and the meningeal branch of occipital artery and posteriorly it is related related to the um, uh, pons and the mandula oblongata all right you won't see them here because this image uh is just like only the score um the contents of the foramen magnum are not included in that image all right so um next image and i would like you to go straight and locate where the clevius is and also locate where the foramen magnum is all right i hope we are making progress guys okay so um what is the blood supply to the clevius all right uh what is the blood supply to this clevius area that we have been talking about all right, the blood supply to the clevius is derived from the many many no hypophysial trunk which is shown here providing clevial and meningeal all right branches okay all right so um i would like us to really really observe this image all right you see the clevial branches from the uh, middle uh you see the clevial branches you can see the branch of the dorsum celli. Uh, you can see the dorsum celli. You can see, and this sloppy area is where uh, where your clevius is. Uh, you can see the clevial branches. You can see the meningeal. Uh, the clevial branches actually uh, originate from the meningeal branches. All right? This is a blood supply to the clevius. You can just pause this and always learn how to draw, okay? 
as an anatomy student always learn how to draw when you draw um these images get like stick in you more okay all right so um with this we proceed to the next um lecture i'll be talking about um fractures of the clevis okay so this stick to our youtube channel for more and more videos do subscribe to our you uh, our, our youtube channel search us on facebook mbbs niger and like our facebook page see you guys in the next tutorial bye for now guys